Hello guys, welcome back to Wiki Academy and Planner app. Today we will implement uh, the delete function. So we are going to do something like this, ask for confirmation, click confirm. As you can see, the plan has been removed. So let's get started. Now, before we proceed in that, I just want to mention something and fix uh, an issue I didn't notice in the previous video. Special thanks to our friend Sandy Puhur for mentioning that in the comments in the previous video, which is in the edit plan async actually it's a put request, so you can replace it. Takes the, the same parameters for the post, but it's uh, a put request instead of post. So here I have made it a post, it should be put to edit and post while adding a new uh, plan each time you click edit and that's it now to proceed with delete we will first create a new function inside the plan service call it delete plan async and let me go first to the swagger ui here and let's see what we have there is a delete request here slash API slash plans and take the ID of the plan we want to remove and basically it just returns um, plan operation response the same for add and uh, edit okay and also there is something very important uh, we should go to NuGet packages updates installed ah sorry go for new git packages for the shared application go for updates and update aksoftware.web api because i have just made a little change that actually improves something and uh, uh, fix a bug inside the requests so i will just click update because i think you we cannot proceed with delete if you don't update this package okay that's it now we are done we can go back to complete so this function returns single plan single response call it delete plan async and it just takes the id okay cool now send the request response equals await client dot delete protected async returns plan single response now we should pass the url here base url slash api slash plans and pass the id okay also we can return dot result this way let's write some comments delete plan from this from the account ID of the plan to be deleted like this okay we are ready now let's move to another part which is uh, the plans component okay here to delete a plan we want to click the delete button then choose a confirmation message like are you want to delete are you sure you want to delete when the user click the delete button and Basically, we send that request. Now, to do this, actually, I'm going to show the confirmation message inside the same raising card here. When the user clicks delete, it just uh, shows him a new button be below the, the delete that asks him click confirm for deleting that. Okay, now to do this, I will add a new row inside that row. I will add button. Sorry, I will copy this, paste it here, and I will set it to info 
do this to confirm like this okay good now regarding the description i will add also a horizontal line below the description to make a little space between the description and the bottles below now this button will be shown only if uh, this plan is selected for for deletion okay so we will create a function here delete when the user clicks the delete button we will select this uh, or we will fill a variable called selected plan id and here we will make a check if the selected plan id is equal to the current plan id we will show this button otherwise we will remove it okay now to do so here i will create a function void select plan pad the id of that plan basically what this one does is just set the value for this selected plan id equals to string dot empty like that set the selected plan id equals to id okay we can do it also exactly directly here inside the bottom as a lambda expression but yeah we can set it in a separate function because maybe we want to add some logic after that or whatever now or new line delete or sorry select plan id path plan dot id like this okay now the variable okay what's going on here ah sorry this one is select the plan ah like this Okay, I have set the field instead of the function. Okay, now for the confirmation, I will type an if condition here if the selected plan ID equals to plan dot ID, then show this button. Okay, what this button will do when we click on it, take this ID, the selected plan ID, and send the delete request. If the delete request is succeeded, we can basically just remove this plan from the uh, from the list that's being rendered inside the UI. So I will create another function async delete async delete plan. Or set is busy to true. It's busy to false here. Then let's send the request var result equals await plans service dot delete plan async and the ID is the selected plan ID like that. Okay. If result dot is success then as you can see here I have plans which actually contains all the plans inside the UI so if the request is succeeded I have two things to do either we can I call the get plans async again which is useless or not convenient actually because there is no need to recall everything just to remove that plan from the UI while we can directly remove it from the local list and in this way I can save a get request for the server for this reason I have put them inside a list so I can add and remove for them now I will get the plan deleted plan equals plans dot single or default b dot id equals equals to selected plan id i've got it then i can say plans dot remove deleted plan okay 
and that's it now if it failed for a specific reason which is the plan is not existing if you go here again to the api documentation you can see either it success or it returns not found which means the plan is not existing maybe it's removed from another ui which is the only reason that uh, this request will fail and in this way i'm just going to show an error message somewhere or we can basically just call the get uh, all plans again which actually will refresh this page and solve our problem and this is actually what i'm going to do await get the plans async in this way okay now let's go to this button here and set the click equals to async wait delete plan async in this way that's perfect now we can uh, try that let's run the application okay plans great now let's try to remove this one i'll click delete here okay this is the confirmation button i need actually a little uh, margin so the appearance is gonna be better then if i click confirm okay great the plan has been deleted as you can see if i try to look for two just for two search you can find only 12 and the new plan 2 which is added uh, at the beginning let's remove the 12 great let's search for 12 okay wonderful now that it is done we just need to fix the button a little bit let's remove this one it doesn't look good yeah that is better okay i will add here margin or i think if i put this inside okay so the cool 12 then style margin margin top five pixel and margin Okay, and there is no margin left and right. I don't know how to do this anyway. I'll set it this way better than learning CSS for me. Okay, good. We can check the design again before we proceed. Great, delete. Yeah, this is better. Very good. Now, before we finish, let me just uh, make a quick recap for what we have done in this session. First, in the plan service, we have added just a function uh, that sends a delete request. Of course, we have updated the package uh, that's responsible to call the API because there is a little bug inside the delete protected async. I have fixed it in the last version. Okay. Then we have moved to the plans component. Here, I have created two functions. The first one to select a plan and the second one is to send the delete request and I've created a private field which holds the ID of the plan that we want to remove. Okay. Now in the delete button when the user clicks the delete button basically we select that plan. The selection is just by setting the plan ID inside this for each to the selected plan ID field. Okay. And here we make a check if the selected plan ID equals to the current plan then we show this button here which will send the request when the user clicks, clicks it we call the delete plan async which is basically uh, send the request check if the request is success 
get that plan from the list and remove it from the UI. If it fails, I've called get plans async because the only situation that the request will fail is if this plan has been, uh, let's say, removed by another UI or if you have, if you open your application in two browsers or two tabs, maybe it has the same browser and you remove that plan from a tab or a browser when you come back to the second one and try to remove it in this situation uh, the request will fail so I have called get the plans async so in this way we refresh just the page better than showing a message because there is no message to show you can just say something went wrong please try again okay that's it thank you so much for watching now the next video we will go again to the edit plan so uh, the user can add items and check them, mark this item as check, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to support us by like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.